cups and balls. Some people say that trick is thousands of years old, but not to me. I think the cups and balls trick is 25 years old. Because about 25 years ago, I walked into Jack and Jill's fun shop as a boy, and that guy behind the counter, you know the guy, kind of old, a little <laughs> scary, always wore the same shirt. Yeah, that guy. He showed me, yeah. That guy. Tanya dated him. <laughs> <laughs> he showed me the cups and balls. Went, Look, you put a little ball there, it goes right through. See, right through the cups here. We'll try it again. And then the little ball, give it a tap. Trap door opens, goes right through. Here, two cups, two trap doors, dee dee, goes right through. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I like that trick, and I, I bought it, took it home, ran upstairs to the bathroom, closed the door, and I s stayed there in the bathroom with the cups and balls for about six months. <laughs> Just making that little ball go through the cups one after another. It was fun. Of course, there weren't really trap doors in the cups. If there were, the trick probably would have cost more than a buck. <laughs> but, <laughs> thank you. That's good. But I liked it. Problem being, when you grow up, well, you don't really mean to, it just happens. And when you grow up, they don't let you use those cheesy plastic cups and balls anymore, not if you're a magician. You have to use the fancy schmancy metal cups. Oh, and you can't get them at a joke store. You get them from a magic shop. <laughs> oh, and you need one other thing, an official magic wand. Not sure what the wand's all about. I think it has something to do with the balls. One, two, three little white balls. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Tony, you've ever seen someone do the cups and balls trick? You know, there's something very odd about the little ball. When it gets near the wand, strange things happen. <laughs> wow. It's almost like there's a symbiotic relationship between the cups, the balls, and the wand, which is why magicians use them all alike. You've seen them do it. You know, a little wave, boop, the ball goes away. Sometimes, though, they get serious <laughs> on you and they hypnotize the ball. You've seen this. <laughs> Frankly, I never understood that myself. A little wave, and boop, the ball goes away. Once I saw an older man, he put the ball in one hand, the wand in another, did one of these. I think they called him the educator. A little wave, boop, the ball goes away. Of course, it doesn't really go away. They always end up under the cups. Oh, Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Now, certain things about the cups and balls I didn't understand. Maybe you could help me. I didn't understand how you could snap here, snap here, that disappear from the end cups, all show up in the middle. <laughs> I also didn't understand how the little balls could read the human mind. You heard me, read the human brain. My left, center, my right. Think of one of the cups. It's done. Which were you thinking of? I was thinking of this cup. Interesting, because the ball went from here over to the cup. <laughs> you were thinking of. Yeah, it's just weird. I know what you're thinking. What if you thought of the other cup? I'd have to snap, show you what leaves here, shows up in the other cup. <laughs> The balls like working together. Thank you. This begs the question, can you do a cups and balls routine if you take away one of the balls? Well, sure, because you still have plenty to work with. What if you take away another ball? No longer doing the cups and balls trick. No, no, you're doing the trick called the cups and ball trick. Take away the last one, you get a problem. You snap over here, this one comes back. We don't know why, it just does. <laughs> snap over here, the same thing happens. <laughs> snap over here, here, you give it a snap. Ooh, I snapped and then you snapped. A double snap. <laughs> Could be a problem. Could be a big problem. Whoa! But the cups and balls are a trick that grow on you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I didn't tell you the best part. No matter how many times I perform the cups and balls, and no matter how much pleasure it gives me, it never gives me more pleasure than when I was a boy with one. <laughs> two, oh, wow. three plastic cups. Oh, and three balls. That's one, two, three balls. That's the cups and balls. Yeah.